What is happening? Hope you're having an awesome day. Uh, <laughs> it's that time. Let's go. All right. Um, here's the deal today. By the way, thanks for tuning in. We're going to have some fun today. I uh, hope you liked the video. Make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of these, uh, these times that we have together. Thanks so much, by the way. All right. Um, do any of these work? That's the question. And if so, which one is the right one for you? Now, uh, swing trainers have many different purposes. I specifically have an issue I'm going to show you here in a second, and I'm trying to cure it. It's been the bane of my golf existence since I can remember. Uh, and we're going to see, does a little ball help? Will that work? All right. I've got the total golf trainer. This has many uses, one of which I'm interested to see if it actually uh, fixes my issue. That's that. Uh, we've got the swing shirt, the golf swing shirt. You've seen that. Uh, I thought this has potential. We'll see. Um, I've got Plane Mate. Uh, does that work? People seem to like that. I got the G Box. Does, will that fix me? I've got this thing, Shore Set. Will that help? Or will just good old fashioned uh, mental knowledge, thinking about something, help? I don't know. I don't know the answer. I've been trying to figure it out. I figured. I'm going to do a video using ever just about everything I ha can think of and show you we'll, we'll we'll tackle this together. I'll show you how to kind of dive into this stuff and I'll let you know for me which one is the keeper and which ones don't we're going to just see if it works or not. Okay, I'm going to show you the problem with my golf swing. We're going to look at it just with my driver so you can see it the best and I'm going to record it and then show you specifically what I hate. Uh, here we go. Here's my standard driver swing. All right, that felt pretty good. Let me show you what uh, drives me nuts. If I did it, we'll see. All right, coming over here to the V1 Golf app. This is the desktop app. So we're looking at my swing down the line here. Draw that little line. Take it back. That's pretty good. Now, right up here, here's the problem. There, there it is. You see that? Look at that club. Look at that club at the top of the swing. It's in a pretty good spot. But look, I get across that line and it whips way over there. You see that line? I'm way across the line here. I don't like that. And then when I come down, I get real steep into it from here to here. I'm in rescue mode. And then you can see I'm coming pretty far from the inside here and into the ball. And I really have to flip and release and timing has to be great to sync everything up. You could see here on the face on view, I kind of back out of it a little bit at the top. And then I lead with my shoulders down toward the ball. My upper body's leaning in right there and you know, whatever, I'm a pretty good player. I can rescue and save things pretty well. So you can see kind of what I hate. I hate this. And when I'm off and I'm struggling, this becomes more pronounced. So I'm trying, I've been working on it forever and nothing sticks. I get things little by little, it hangs out for a little while, but I video myself all the time on the golf course. And as you can see, I consistently do it. What I wanna find out is, is there a training aid that I can use that can fix my swing. All right, that's what we all want to know. That's what we're all trying to achieve. Better swing, better game, better everything. So I'm going to use V1, capture my swing. We'll look at TrackMan numbers, see what's happening, and uh, we'll go from there. So we'll start here. We'll start with this Sure Set. All right, I thought this had some potential. Sure set has an adjustable arm here. This is adjustable so it can custom fit everybody. And because I'm just trying to get more secure and set up here. So, you know, swing this and that's where I want to be. And I kind of want to lean in here. So this is sure set. And you just, you know, set it here. And then look, I mean, if I'm down the line, 
set it, feels good. So we swing a million of these. I love a training aid with a grip, a training grip. Helps to reinforce everything. Uh, I don't get anything for this, by the way. I don't get anything for any of these. So just so you know, these are just things I've had, things that were sent to me, things I bought, all that good stuff. Good setup here, boom. Sure set it, and then go. Okay, that's sure set. Let's see if it worked. And I want things to work quickly, really quickly. That felt good. I don't know if I did it. Let's look. All right. So we're looking down the line here. This is with the sure set, just after a few swings. Get rid of the circle, add a line. Here we go. Looking, just going back. Good takeaway. A little inside, okay. Good at the top. Pretty good. Don't come across, don't come across. All right, not bad. But you see, it's not perfect. I still get steep. I'm coming over my shoulder. And, you know, we do, really don't want this here. At this point, we want that to be more flattening out there. Okay, so it, it didn't really get where I wanted to be. I rescued pretty good. Good release through the ball. And um, my club path was a little too far from the inside at 2.7, 157 yard carry. I have an eight iron currently. All right, so uh, not bad, not bad. So, okay, sure set felt good but I don't know if it totally did the trick. Um, what's next? So this, I thought, this has potential. I've used this before at the, um, the PGA show. But the, this dude sells so many of these. It's ridiculous. I mean, look at that. It's kind of weird. And then what you do is you just take your arm and you sh oh, don't tear it, but shove your arm through the hole here, okay. So here we go. Like this is cool. This, I feel connection is great, okay. And uh, it's got a good resistance here. And I feel like that might help me from doing this. We'll see, let's record a, a swing here and see. <sighs> Feels weird. Uh, connection, uh, you know. In, in a device like this, I would expect this to like work on one swing because it's forcing you to, to do, at least my arms aren't getting out of control. Let's see what happened. All right, coming down the line, let's check out what we got. How's that takeaway? Takeaway feels good right there. Not as inside, I like that. Getting up to the top, still getting high with those hands. Ah, I still kind of did the same thing, you see that? Just, yeah, with that not eight iron, getting steep on it, then I drop it in and release it. So it's close here on the face on view. I like the, how it sets you up though. I still look at my body. It's still part of the problem is I come up. Some people like that. I don't, I don't particularly like that. How do I um, come into the ball? Here's my, let's see what comes into the ball first, just naturally. It's a little better. I don't hate that. Connected, good. Um, yeah, pretty good through the ball. Let's see what the ball did. Oh, went way right. Face was wide open. All right. Look, if you have a problem with your arms flying all over the place, I think this could be good. That's not my problem though, okay? I can see like if, if, if you're getting out of control in your swing, the swing shirt would be really good for you. Uh, by the way, I'll leave a link for everything in the video description below. Swing shirt's cool. It's not that expensive either. So I like it. It just didn't help my issue. Um, okay. What's next? Okay. Total golf trainer. Now here's what's cool about this. I'm going to use, this has, uh, a number of different attachments for all kinds of issues. So it's like, like I said, total golf trainer. Um, whatever. So, but the one I'm interested in is the wrist one here, because when I get to the top, I feel like I do this. So if I had something to keep my wrist this way, that would be good. 
So this attachment intrigued me and it's the, um, the wrist, the wrist one. All right. So you got to take this and put this bad boy on here. Uh, comment below. Let me know if you have any of these things. So now you can adjust this. You could put it there, kind of wherever you think the, the right spot would be. I like, I am so against any of this that I'm going to really, I'm going to bend this bad boy down big time. Okay, good. And I'm going to tighten it like as tight as it goes. Oh my gosh. I can't, even, I have no circulation. I might pass out. Here we go. Total golf trainer. Come on. I'm rooting for something. Oh, that felt weird. Weird. I pull hooked it pretty good. I think let's look at the swing. Here we go down the line, bringing it back. Still bring it touch inside. Not bad. It's better. Oh, I love that flat wrist there. That looks good. Oh, that's pretty good. That's the best one so far. Look at that. Look at that. Dropped it in. Great. That's much flatter than the other, than the others have been. Pretty good. You see that club matches the line way better. And it didn't really come across. Comes in slightly from the inside. That felt good. What did the shot look like? Big hook. Club path is way too far from the inside there. So that's not, that's not a good thing, but we can work on that. That's why we hooked it so much. All right. So, so far total golf trainer isn't bad. Look at it though. See how much I moved it. Like it, it was here and then uh, all right, this so far, this is in first place. I like that. All right. Pretty good. Total golf trainer. The wrist thing, I, it looked good. Um, what's next? All right. We'll go, um, G box the G box. You remember this thing? I did a review on this. I don't know. This is supposed to, according to, you know, George Gankis, the, the inventor of this thing. Uh, this is weird, whatever. Um, you know, if you turn, you get a better turn and then you lead like here, it will just naturally flatten out your swing here. Okay. And at the same time, help you use your body better. So, Let's check it out. G box. Oh, <laughs> totally missed. <laughs> that hurt my neck. All right. We got, ah, I totally missed. <laughs> All right. Let's try. Oh, that hurt. All right. Let's try it again. Here we go. G box. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Dude, I didn't do that on purpose. All right. Let's look at this swing. See where we're at. Look at the swing where I actually hit the ball. Oh my gosh. Whew. Good. Oh, wow. Not bad. I'm a little steep. I don't hate that. Let's see how we did here. Taking it back. I like how I stayed into the shot a little better. I didn't lift so much. So that's a good turn. I still kind of lead with my upper body. Good through the ball. I mean, I like the position here. It, it kind of does it a little bit. Yeah, it's not my favorite. It kind of came over. Uh, what did the shot do? Club path is way inside out. Pull hook again. All right. So I, th I think you got to be careful with G-Box. Uh, it's good for certain things. Uh, it's not really particularly, let's say good for my, my swing issues. Uh, next up, uh, why not? We'll use orange ball, good old fashioned, old school ball. You can use a nerf. Um, I'm going to put this here. It's kind of similar to that swing, um, swing shirt, except from here, you know, I really, I can really see the ball and feel like that's going to drop down from the inside and rotate through. Let's find out. Oh, I hit that so bad. All right. Let's look at the swing though. Cause we just want to know if the swing was good. So we're going down the line here. Got the ball in there. Drop my line here. Let's look at that. Taking it back. Perfect takeaway. That was probably my best takeaway so far. Right on plane. Um, you look right around here. 
uh, the, yeah, the hands and the club are right in line where you want to be. Great positioning there. That's perfect. Oh, look at that. That's my, my move. That club doesn't move. That's good. Huh? It's right there. Slightly from the inside, kind of hit it fat, but look at that release. Oh, I love that release. Okay. How's the shot look? Little hook still coming pretty far from the inside. Uh, so that's good. I would say that and total golf trainer are first place right now. Those are both great. Let's go to, well, we just got, um, this one. Now this guy plane mate has, I mean, you would think it would be the, uh, the leader in the clubhouse because just how it's made. So you put this on here, you here, whatever that goes there. And I've already got it connected, connected here. Now this is supposed to just force you keep pressure here and it actually pulls your club down. So like if this doesn't work, then forget it. But the question is, can I swing with this and then swing without it and have the same results? Obviously. So, um, let's, let's do one with first. Whew. That's hard to do a lot of pressure. Okay. But it's good. Let's see the swing. Good setup. All right. Perfect. You're supposed to keep some pressure. I like that. Look at that. That's probably my best takeaway. The clubs are, the club is a little outside of my hands. So I like that. And I still, Oh, that's the flattest I've been. <laughs> Look at that. It actually moved. That's the, the direction you want your club to move is back around that direction. Uh, and, but I tended to move it, you know, to, back across my body, which is no good toward my head. Like you you want it to dip down and away from you. That's what all the good players in the world do. So then I come into it. That's pretty good. What it looked like on track, man. Yeah. I mean, I didn't hit a great shot. I mean, so it's great while you're using it. Ooh, feels weird. So what you would do is you would hit a bunch of little shots while, while using this. And then, um, okay. So I took a bunch of swings. Now I'm going to take it off. All right. Now I'm still feeling that as if I'm wearing the belt. Now I'm going to take a swing and we're going to see if I can achieve that same feeling. It feels like I'm, Oh, that feels weird. All right. Same feeling without wearing it. Oh, that feels weird. Uh, let's look at the swing and see, see what happened. All right, this is uh, post, post uh, plane mate. And here we go down line. How's that takeaway? Well, that's very similar to with plane mate right there. Uh, no, it didn't work. Look, you can see that club's moving the total opposite direction. That's weird. It felt like, huh? Like, I feel like that move right here is, is not what it's supposed to happen with that club. See what that shot did went way, right? I mean, of the ones for my particular issue that worked the best was the orange ball and total golf trainer. But what I want to also know the last piece of the puzzle here is, uh, just conventional, let's say teaching. Uh, can me telling myself and have a swing thought in mind eliminate and help me have the correct swing that I'm looking for? Just one swing thought without any gadgets. All right. I really want this club to, you know, fall. So here's what I'm just going to do. I'm just going to do a little pre-shot routine, taking the club back and just feeling this. This is my that's my swing um, thought. Let's say my pre-shot, just my, I'm just letting that fall. So I'm just letting, uh, I'm carrying the pizza, right? Or whatever. You're just taking it back, letting it fall down here and swing on through. So now that's my swing thought. Let's see what we do. 
It felt good. Um, I felt like I went right though, but whatever. I care about the swing. Let's see what that looks like. All right, here we go down the line. Draw my little line here. Takeaway is not bad. Touch inside. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's one. That's the best one. Look at that. A little steep there, but got into it. Nice release through the ball. I'm liking that. Kind of look on the face on view. Okay. Oh, well, that's not bad. Looks like the hips start leading the charge here. Down. That felt really good. Bit right. All right. So what, what are we learning here? Well, can devices help? Yes, they can help. And they could force you to do something. However, what seems to work best for me now is the power of the mind. Is just thinking something and trying to get a feeling uh, that, and, and seeing if I can do it while I'm recording myself. So that's what I want you to do is get some type of device to record your swing. Uh, I'm using the V1 app desktop version. They have one for your um, they have one for your phone, which is free. So download that so you can video your swing. Um, you, you put it down the line, you put it, move it face on. So get that because that's gonna help you look at your swing and look at, think about what you're trying to achieve in your golf swing. And then you could try devices, but also try just the power of your mind. Like I am going to carry the pizza. I'm going to do this. I'm gonna do this and think about it video it at the same time, see if it works. Today, the power of the mind seems to be more effective than virtually any training aid, except maybe the orange ball and the total golf trainer. Orange ball is like a dollar at the grocery store. Total golf trainer, I don't know, link in the description, check them out. We're just trying everything we can, seeing what works. Uh, love you guys, good luck out there. Work hard, see you in the next video. Okay. I'm going to get a pizza.